Adding navigation to your Excel workbook can improve the usability of the workbook and wow your stakeholders. So I'm going to show you two ways. One will be manual, the other one will be a formula. And we're even going to add a button to be able to go back to the main menu. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's start with the manual way and then we'll look at formulas. And you will let me know which method you prefer. You can write in the comment section. So for the manual way, I want to link this cell C2 to a cell in this sheet, for example, D1. What do I do in this case? Right click after selecting the cell, go down, click on link. And here you have place in this document. You have all the sheets in the document. So I'm going to select other sheet, which is the second one. And here I'm going to put D1, press OK. There you go. You click on it and we go here. Let's come back. Now this name is very ugly for the user and you can change it. Right click, go down, you have edit hyperlink. Now if you want to remove a hyperlink, this is the way you have the option here. Let's go to edit and now we're going to change the text to display. So I'm going to call it jump to other sheet and I can add a screen tip here. Let's do navigate, press OK, press OK. Now you have the new name, you put your cursor on it, you have navigate, click, it goes there. Now let's do something fun. You know here you have a sheet and you want to go back to the main sheet. So a lot of times in your analysis or in your Excel sheet, dashboard, you want to move between pages. How to do this? Let me show you. You can either insert an image, you can insert an icon, a shape, anything will work. So we go to illustrations. I'm just going to insert a shape. Click here. Let's put the shape. Go back. That's the name. We're going to change the format. Click here. That's for the format. And we do the same methodology. Right click. We have link. We will put now the main sheet. I want to go to C2. Perfect. And I cannot change the text to display because this is a shape. So let's press OK. Let's click. And we go back to C2. Perfect. To link to another cell within the same worksheet, it's very simple. Same methodology. So we select the cell, right click, go down, link. We select main sheet and this is C7. I'm not going to change the name. That's fine. Press OK. We click on it and you go here. Let's go to formula. I know a lot of you will be excited. And the advantage of formula is that it's dynamic. So if you change something, the formula will automatically update. That means that the link will automatically update. In this case, it was easy, but it's more static. So let's go here and start on the same exercise. Equal hyperlink open parenthesis. You have two parameters, the link and the name. The name is the same as what we did here. We want to change the name of this link so you can do it and the link location. Let's see how we can get it. So let me press on escape and let's go here. Try to get the link location. Equal other sheet. I'm going to put D1. Press enter. Now here, I'm just going to remove the equal sign. And we have the other sheet and the cell. Now let's try it like this. You're going to get a small surprise. So here equal hyperlink open parenthesis. Now the link location, it is here. I can type it manually if I want between double quotations. So for example, here I would do other sheet D1. But for now, I'm just going to do it this way. Comma, the friendly name, we can give it a name. I'm just going to select this cell. You can also give it a name within double quotation. So for example, you type your name here, whatever it is. Let me just select this cell and close parenthesis. Now, if you click here, boom, surprise cannot open the specified file. Why? Because in the case of navigation, you need to add a hashtag before it. Now, if you click, it works like a charm. Let's go back. Now, let's do the same for a cell within the same worksheet. What do we do in this case? We go here, equal. Let's just select the cell, press enter. Here, we're going to use a hashtag. Let's just cut this put it here and we can do the same thing. Now let me type it manually just to show you. So control C escape. Let's go here equal hyperlink 
open parenthesis, double quotation, we paste this, double quotation. I'm not going to give it a friendly name, so close parenthesis. Now, if you click, you go to this cell. Perfect. Now, the advantage of using a cell is that it is dynamic. So, for example, if I add another sheet, sheet 1, Control c escape, let's go to my main sheet, and here I just call it sheet 1, press enter, I click on the link, and automatically I go to the new sheet. And that works also with the name. So, for example, if I add a cross here, and I double click, you can see that the name automatically changes.